So Beto O'Rourke is actually losing to this Abbott. What is it? Greg Abbott? Yep. The governor of Texas is Greg Abbott. And let's look at this video here. Beto O'Rourke is going to confront Greg Abbott. And then you have all of his henchmen pointing and telling him to get the hell out of here. And then he talked to reporters outside. So probably about some, you know, uh, assault rifle ban or something. But let's take a look at this. You're out of line and an embarrassment. Yeah, so he's sitting there. I can't believe you made a political issue out of this. He's still talking. He's saying you haven't done anything about it. He's all mad about Uvalde, and Uvalde was bullshit. Where were the goddamn cops? You what? We're not supposed to defund the police. We're supposed to what? Give Uvalde cops a fucking raise, a promotion? Were we supposed to pay them an extra million dollars? Here's a bonus. You remember how uh, you didn't go into the school and save those kids? Here's a here's an extra, you know, twenty thousand dollars bonus, right? So, Beto O'Rourke is actually losing by seven points. Greg Abbott is beating him. Here's a list of accomplishments of Greg Abbott so far, according to the gov.texas.gov, Governor Abbott. In the 87th legislative session, the governor achieved significant legislative victories to build a safer, freer, and more prosperous future for Texas, adding COVID liability protections for Texas businesses, employees, and health care providers, expanded broadband access, broadband access, enacting laws to stop cities from defunding the police, reforming the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, weatherizing the state's power system. This is the same guy that sent seven, uh, no, how, how many, he sent like a whole bunch of migrants to New York City. So, he went, I can't believe you're doing this to make a political point. Well, look at all this stuff. Uh, you have 1,700 unused steel panels to build the border wall, illegal immigrants, border security. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, Abortion, uh, heartbeat bills, some, um, other successes, passing constitutional carry, defending religious freedoms, passing the heartbeat bill. I heard that you, they, there's no heartbeat at six weeks. There's nothing beating at six weeks. Landmark legislation passed, and, and then how goddamn political is everything he's doing? Reigning in skyrocketing property taxes, investing more in classrooms and teachers, keeping our schools safe, combating human trafficking, strengthening disaster preparedness and response, reforming the child protective system, reigning in regulations, improving Texas roads, and cutting billions of dollars in taxes. So, wow, man, that damn Greg Abbott. He's the 50th and longest serving attorney general of Texas before his election as the 48th governor of Texas. The 48th governor of Texas. Let's actually listen to this son of a bitch. Who the fuck is this goddamn Greg Abbott? Oh, hey, look. I was thinking you got Beto O'Rourke and then who? Some fucking asshole. So basically you just got Beto O'Rourke versus uh, some asshole, right? So let's see here. Greg Abbott, Greg Abbott. We got two things. These are his own ads. So let's uh, go ahead. Clear contrast. Clear contrast or securing the future of Texas. Which one? Clear contrast. Here we go. The contrast in this race couldn't be clearer. Governor Abbott is running for re-election to increase job creation and economic opportunities. For economic? Stinkonomic fucking stuck up. Taxes, secure the border. Pretentious. Economics. You don't have no economic model, motherfucker. Work supports open borders, defunding the police, raising property taxes, and extreme energy policies. Open borders. Prices and kill hundreds of thousands of energy jobs in Texas. Beto will take Texas in the wrong. Beto Rourke just wants to open all the borders. Like a rodeo, huh? Just open the borders and just let everybody just. Red Rover, huh? Just have immigration just be like Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> Whoever can make it in, come on. Is that what I'm supposed to believe there, Greg Abbott? Let's take a look at securing the future of Texas. My dad died when I was in high school. I had to wait tables at a place just like this to be able to pay for school. It took hard work, but Texas gave me the opportunity to succeed. 
That's why, as governor, I focus on creating jobs for all Texans by investing in education, expanding our energy industry, and by keeping taxes low for our families. We are securing the future of Texas so that everyone has the same opportunities that Texas gave me. I'm Greg Abbott, and I did not approve this message. Somebody else hijacked this message. That's actually... So what do you... What did you think that I would do at this moment? You know what the motto of Texas is? You know what the motto of Texas is? You think it's kicking ass, taking names? You know what the motto of Texas is? We all cowboys around here. You know what the motto of Texas is? Kicking fucking, kicking ass and... No, it's friendship. The motto of Texas. Friendship. Wow, Texas, y'all, y'all a bunch of badasses there, a bunch of Billy badasses. Oh, yeah, don't mess with Texas. A bunch of independents. Oh, yeah, just a, you know what? Fuck the Alamo. I will forget about the goddamn Alamo, you fucking slave-owning sons of bitch. All you did was just ex expanded slavery into Texas. Remember the Alamo. I remember the whole of Mador. That's what I remember. Friendship for everyone. Okay, Beto O'Rourke. Let's see what Beto O'Rourke is saying. Let's go to the very top video. Good morning, Texas. Six hours ago, he says good morning to us. Okay. Looking forward to seeing you in Lockhart today at 11.30. Come on out. All are welcome. Looking forward to seeing you in Lockhart today at 11.30. So he's at Lockhart at 11.30. So I wonder if that was, uh, you know, uh, if that was entertaining or something. Back in Denton for Town Hall. Austin, exclamation point, independent for Beto. No, no, I'm not going to. That's enough Beto for me for today. <laughs> Last thing I want to mention is the other candidates in this race. So, of course, you got the Republican, right? Uh, Delilah Berrios. No, that's the Green Party. That's an environmental activist. You got the Democrat, Beto O'Rourke. And then you have the Republican, Greg Abbott, right? So typically it's the two-party system, and you assume Texas is against democracy, and they don't really have an independent or Green Party movement. They act like they're independent, and they, they don't give a fuck about being a nation state. They don't care about the Republic, Battle Hymn of the Republic. They wouldn't even know what the Battle Hymn of the Republic was even about. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Mark J. Tippetts is uh, declared for Libertarian. Delia Bar Barrios is declared for Green Party and two independents. Deirdre Dixon Gilbert and Ricardo Tarolios Bonilla. Retired educator, uh, write-in candidate, public educator, attorney, former Lago Vista City Councilman Mark J. Tippett's an environmental activist. Let's take a look at this libertarian Mark J. Tippett's. All right, Mark J. Tippett's, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and finish this off. This is uh, Texas. Well, it's probably November eighth, right? A lot of these are November eighth elections, though. Rhode Island has an, a, a primary in six days, so we're gonna see something coming out of um, goddamn Rhode Island in six days. So, old Mark J. Tippetts. Okay, we got a short here. Gay, Greg Abbott did not. Something empowers Texas parents for school choice. Okay, we got three little, we got two shorts here. And... But Greg Abbott, one thing that a lot of people don't remember is Greg Abbott issued all these mandates while there was a Republican president. Uh, I mean, shutdowns, curfews, uh, masks, all the mandates. And as soon as there's a Democrat president, now he's saying it's unconstitutional. Do we have two constitutions? And now he is saying, and after he destroyed so many lives, forget what I did and vote for me again. That's interesting. Empower Texas so parents. What we are saying. Must empower the parents to educate their children how they best see fit. They can they can choose schools that have the best curriculum for them. The schools that have the All right, best school choice. So, and then here's a little two minute thing: press conference before a debate. Capable, drive SUVs, by a 10 -year, 
will not be participating in tonight's debate, but he met up with KXAN's Jacqueline Powell to talk about points he would have liked to hit home tonight. I'm outside the LBJ library with Mark Tippett and some of the supporters who have showed up with signs behind us here. Mark, I know you wanted to be inside debating tonight. You're not able to be. But tell me, what were some of the areas that you really wanted to focus on talking to voters about tonight? Well, the, the areas that I wanted to focus on, first off, thank you for, for being here. The areas that I wanted to focus on more than anything is just so that they know that there are other choices there. There are other voices that represent them. And I wanted an opportunity to answer the questions that will be asked on a different perspective than what the voters always get. Because the Republican and the Democrat uh, responses are the same, that have been the same for generations. What are some of the areas where your responses would have differed? Well, obviously it would be depending on the question, but uh, on education, uh, on uh, federal government intrusion, on legalization of marijuana, I'm sure I would differ drastically.